Hey there, fellas. So in this video, we're looking to have a bit of fun. Because recently I stumbled upon this video where some dudes, I mean... We're not hiding anything over here. Anyway, some dudes were trying to work out how much load a chicken egg can endure before it gives up. But since our channel is about cars, here is what we have in mind. Here we have some eggs, some plywood, and here we have a car. And in today's episode, we're gonna find out how many eggs it takes to bear the weight of this car. It's a run-of-the-mill Honda Civic. It's been featured on this channel before. And here's what we're doing. We're going to take two pieces of plywood and turn them into four. Slip them underneath the wheels, get them even. Place the eggs inside of their packaging. Cover them with the second piece of plywood, one per axle. And after that we proceed to carefully lower the car using the lift. And see if these eggs can bear the weight of the car or not. Let's do this. Originally uploaded in 2018. We've laid out the plywood, we're looking good, more or less. As for why we decided not to split those pieces of plywood, well... When the car comes down, the wheels are going to move towards the inside slightly. And to keep left to right motion at bay, we are using whole pieces of plywood. At the very least, we'll minimize those unwanted movements. We don't want the eggs to be pushed to the side. But we're about to see, and one more thing I should mention. We've got 36 cartons containing 10 eggs each, or a total of 360. And what we'd like to try is put 20 cartons underneath the front wheels, and 16 under the rears. Because the rear end is obviously lighter, four cartons should be enough to compensate for it. But we're about to place the cartons, cover them with the plywood, and slowly bring the car down to see what happens. And we are ready, we are looking good. The eggs are sandwiched in between the pieces of plywood, that's all good. The car is on the lift. Okay, so what are we doing? Are you ready? Now we trip the handle on the lift and bring the car down. Let's go! Hold up, Alex, take it easy. That's the plastic making the crunching sound. Let me see what's going on up front. Right now we just slowly release the pressure. Because the plywood has now tightly pinched the eggs. Right. <laughs> Didn't even flinch, eh? <laughs> All right then. Nah, they're crunching. They are crunching. Because there's a difference in height. Okay, so the car is down. And I mean all the way down. The eggs are crunching like hell. 
I'd imagine none of them are still intact. The car is on the plywood. The arms of the lift can be easily moved out from underneath the car. But the pieces of plywood are still separated by a pretty substantial gap. But now let's bring the car up and see what's been holding them apart. Let's go. So here's the situation, guys. You'll see that we were quick to clean the mess up, because we don't want stuff being permeated with egg, I mean. That would seriously stink the place up. But for some reason, 360 eggs could not carry the weight of the car, even though it's a significant amount. And you'd think that a single egg could carry, like, about 3 to 4 kilos, which should have translated to a healthy margin of durability. But in the end, things just didn't pan out. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas as to why. Now, I think I know just why everything fell apart. Now, actually, I know for a fact that it's all in how the forces are distributed. Anyway, if you think you know, share your thoughts down below. Or perhaps we just needed to use even more eggs. But then, I mean, we've already used an enormous amount of eggs as it is. But the point is that this Honda won the fight. Good on this Civic for crushing 360 eggs. I mean, okay, so this experiment has been a massive success. 360 eggs caved in under the weight of that there car. And that's all I got for you. Watch us consider subbing, comment, send in your suggestions. Give us a like or a dislike, and catch you later.